Hello, and welcome to Catfish Trash Talk. This is episode 51. I'm your host, comedian Tracy Carnazzo, joined by my co-host, comedian Noel W. Herzog. I like being a comedian. I know you do. We're here to talk about Catfish Season 2, Episode 13, Nick and Melissa. Did you remember this episode? No. Me neither. No. I remember a bit of this meatball. Right. He's all like, I remember his face a little bit, but that's all I remember. I don't remember anything about it. Yeah, that's all I remember. Nothing. So, um, guys, if you want to hear more of us, uh, go to patreon.com slash trash talk podcast for over, I don't know, 700,000 of our bonus episodes, including unexpected trash talk. And don't forget, we also have two other free podcasts, 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk and Teen Mom Trash Talk. Amazing. All right. Noel, I don't know how much I have to say about this. Uh, I'm just looking forward to an update. This is a tame episode, really. Right. This is like the episode that like is kind of like, yeah, you were talking to someone online. Like, this is kind of how it goes. Right. This wasn't like, um, oh, I think you're talking to your ex. Right. I think you're talking to another guy or whatever. There were no there were really no. like there was any no kind of shocks. allegations. Yeah. So Nick is from Florida. He's 18 years old. Melissa is from uh, Des Moines, uh, Iowa, 18 Des years Moines. old. Did you like that? Mm-hmm. that was very How funny. do you say it? Des Moines. I like Des Moines. Oh, OK. Well, if that's what you like. Illinois Des Moines. I do say Illinois. <laughs> I know. And you get in a lot of trouble when you say it. Too bad. I get in a lot of trouble for saying a lot of things. Des Money's. She's uh, 18 <laughs> years old. <laughs> mm-hmm. I think I used to work with a guy named Des Money's. He was a comedian. I I'm think kidding. you sued him. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> uh, so they meet on a Tila Tequila fan page where you can leave voicemails. And she left a funny voicemail. And then I guess they started talking blast from the past. Let it be known. Yes. I love Tila Tequila. She is a crazy person. Mm-hmm. I watched all of her Tila Tequila dating shows. Mm-hmm. One season, two season. Used to sit at Linda's house, watching them eating Domino's every week after work. Um, Domino's. I, yeah. Why? What so happened? Random? Why? I don't know. That we was live just in New York. Thing. This was so many years ago. I don't know. This was just the thing. Oh, yeah. I don't know. It was when they had the five, five, five deal. So it was like. Was there a song that went with that? Was there? I don't don't know. I'm not. You know what I'm thinking about? I'm thinking about five, five dollar foot long. That's uh, oh, God. Yeah. Sorry. So we used to watch this. Yeah. And um, Tila Tequila got her start on MySpace. Oh, she was like the face of MySpace, as you know. Mm hmm. I know all about it. Go ahead. Then she was on YouTube. She was with the Johnson and Johnson heiress Mm -hmm. who, Mm -hmm. you know, died. Many, many things. Um, I was really into Tila Tequila. I'm still really into Tila Tequila. She has gone off the rails. She's not well. Now her new name is like, I don't know, Theon Thunder or something. And she's very, very, very Christian. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. she has renounced everything. Mm-hmm. And she goes on these crazy tangents. Like she's had so many emotional breaks. It's my favorite thing to watch. I really like when people lean into religion. She's well, first, I don't know if you're allowed. To, I am allowed to say these words, but it's not me. She was a Nazi. Or she was like, oh, really, I remember. really, really big into it. I remember. Yeah. She you're like, allowed really to say went that. off. Okay, I don't know, because but she went like really off the rails. And Mm -hmm. first she was like she had a gossip site called like Miss Tila. Like Mm -hmm. she had a kid with some random. Nobody knows who the baby daddy is. And now she's having or had her second child question mark with who really she says that um, her name is Tila Tequila because she's allergic to tequila and it used to make her so sick. So that's why that's her name. Like she is Um, wild. So here's the thing. Like I know a lot of people that would be like, oh, yeah, no. XYZ makes me so sick. I'm allergic to it. It's like, no, you drink a bottle of it. Our, what We have a friend who says she's allergic to doers. Yeah, that's not yeah. how that works. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's not how that works. Okay, so uh, thank you for letting us know about your relationship with Tila Tequila. I have my, a hearty relationship. My with relationship her. with Tila Tequila is very different, um, but I do. Uh, I used to uh, work with slash be friendly with uh, a man who was engaged to Tila Tequila. 
tequila. Which one? Um, I'll tell you off air. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But oh, this, this is was... what I wanted to know. Was it one of the winners of her show? No, That's no, 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 no. This okay. Is pre... It was a real person. Okay. This is before the fame. Interesting. They always speculate one of her kids, the dad's is the game, the rapper. Who knows? No, no. This is a Swedish man. I love that for her. Mm -hmm. I'll show you pictures. Oh, I'm very excited. Yes, he is. Um, I remember we were out and I couldn't fit into a spot. Uh, I was parking my car and he was like, I got this. And he parked my car for me. You know, on Tila Tequila show. Yeah. Shot at love. Yes. The first season, a guy named Bobby wins. Uh huh. He wound up being on Rich Kids of Beverly Hills and he was tapping. uh, What's his name? Hoffman, Uh, not Hoffman, David Hasselhoff's daughter. (laughs) How random, right? Every time I think of David Hasselhoff, I just think of a cheeseburger. Anyway, the cheeseburger. What cheeseburger? What do you mean? What cheeseburger? You don't remember there was that video of David Hasselhoff drunk like crazy laying on the floor, just eating a cheeseburger, yeah, like flipping out. Yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, that was the best video ever. Um, all right. Moving we're back. We're here. I digress. <laughs> yes, you do. Like that. Uh, so now Nick is going to 10 months of school in Texas. Uh, and Neve says, You ready? Mm-hmm. Let's get this guy on the horn. That's my favorite thing. I know. So uh, they met them when they were 12 years old and they video chatted at night twice. So he couldn't see because it was at night. Because I don't know if you know, but in Des Money's, there's no lamps or lights at night. They don't have electricity. She probably did it in her yard. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> now, she has a boyfriend named Olin and right. she lives with him. And she said that basically she's homeless without him. OK, it sounds like love. What a dream. It's a wonderful dream, actually. Nick has on his earrings. He has on a chain. He has on a watch. He has on a lot of accouchement. He's a uh, he's very interesting. He's very he, Florida, but he doesn't have his own computer Mm-mm. No, But his sister does. Yes. So in 2006, mm-hmm. his grandpa died and that was his best friend. So he stopped talking to everyone. Um, OK, mm-hmm. I'm not going to grandpa shame anyone. Please don't. Uh huh. But here we are. <laughs> uh, your grandpa died. Grandpas are made to die. Literally made <laughs> to die. They, they are. live to die. Yeah. You have parents. You have a grandpa so you can watch him die. Yeah. That's like even at, even at a young age. Oh, yeah. That's the thing about grandpas. <laughs> they can go. I, when you're one, they could go when you're 20. You just I have, a, I have a grandpa that I did. He he expired before I even got here. My grandmother did, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, interesting. That is the very, very, very interesting fact about grandparents. They uh, most of the time are dead. Usually, yes. A lot I, of the or time if are not, dead. They die pretty early on in your life. My grandmother died. She was 93. Your grandmother died. She was like 92 or 93 or 94 or something. Yeah, who, nobody really knows. No one knows. No one knows. It was like a year or and two or maybe she's alive. The thing about that is that, um, you know, no matter how old you are, your grandparents are going to be dead. And also, no matter how sad you are that your grandparents die, mm-hmm. they're just dead. Well, that's the thing. They're just dead. They're just dead. You yeah. like, I don't know. And I'm not saying that you can't be upset. I was very upset when my grandmother died. Uh, But like, what did I expect to happen? I guess because it's to be expected. Yeah. So the fact that he um, didn't talk to anyone anymore. Right. Is like flipped out. Sure. Like, I don't know. I feel like that is maybe a huge problem. I don't know. I listen. People react to things differently. No, (laughs) not at all. All right. So we see this girl. She's got a nose ring. She has uh, a picture and on her hand, it says, I love kale. C-A-L-E. Okay. But she has this boyfriend named Olin. So they call her. Mm-hmm. Uh, not, they don't call her. Nick calls her. Nick calls her. Mm-hmm. Unbeknownst to her. He's with Catfish. They're all there. So she's like, oh, Olin's playing Xbox. I'm cleaning. Business yada, as usual. Yada, yada. Yeah. And then he's like, all right, love you. She's like, love you, Joe. Great. Okay. Nick's hair. I can't take it. <clears throat> It's There's just lot. so bad. There's a lot going on there. Mm-hmm. So they see a picture of her and Emily. So they reach out to Emily 
And they also don't find any pictures of her and Olin. Right. So it's like, is he even real? But they do find a picture of her, quote, bigger, quote. uh, I'm trying to think of all the words they used from last week. Bigger, larger. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that is on Emily's page. And she was tagged. but She hid it from her page. Now, I mean, I get it. Emily calls and says Melissa lives with Olin in Des Money's. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. And Emily does know about Nick and was like, yeah, no, she loved him like a lot. But Um, not anymore. (laughs) But I don't know if anymore because we haven't really talked to him because she's at Olin's house. Right. Did you notice that Neve had like crazy eyes? Yes, I did notice this. Yes. It was like they were magnifying glasses almost. (laughs) Yeah. Like those silly glasses that people wear with eyes fall out. Slinky eyes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, Neve was uh, he was tweaking. Yeah, that was a lot. So they go to tell Nick what they found and he's upset so much because they found a picture of her possibly fake kissing this girl, Kale. Okay. How? All right. I, I, it's like, is he not like a little homophobic? I mean, he is disgusted by this beyond. He's like, I don't even want to look at this anymore. Okay. Well, guess what? Yeah. That's her best friend. And like, they're not even kissing. Right. And it's like, you're so disgusted. You don't want to look at it. Okay. Usually guys like are into that. Right. But also like it was that was also not, who cares. Right. I don't know. That was like really crazy. And then he his says, reaction quote, was weird. Yeah. He says, quote, she's bigger than I thought she was. Uh, and they call Melissa. They find out that she was in treatment for self-harm. Mm-hmm. And he was like really there for her. And she said that Olin is her boyfriend slash roommate. Now, I want to get back to what you were saying. About. um you know, she, they said uh, to him something like, would you be surprised if you found out she was bisexual? He was right. disgusted. But that's what I mean. He of was even the so idea of it put off. Yeah. And he it's was... like, what is with this reaction right there? I'd be like, don't come. I saw that. Don't come. That's how you yeah. react to people. If yeah. I, I can't believe that Neve wasn't like, what's your problem, bud? Right, like maybe she's bisexual. Yeah. Do you yeah, think that was, maybe she had a life before you or like, you know, no, you guys never like met. It. He does not like it at all. You it know, was cool when she had a boyfriend. Full blooded Italian. He doesn't like it. <laughs> I've died. I have passed. He, did you see his license plate? No, I, I got to tell you, I, I blocked out so many of these Italian things because I was like, no, no, I can't yeah. do this. Yeah, it was a lot. Noel, it is time for a break. And this is technically an ad break, but our partners at Calm want you to focus on yourself for a moment. Take a deep breath. Let it out. Relax wherever you're holding your attention. It's important to tune in and recenter and Calm can help. We are partnering with Calm, the number one mental wellness app to give you the tools that improve the way you feel. You can reduce stress and anxiety through guided meditations Improve focus with curated music tracks and rest and recharge with Calm's imaginative sleep stories for children and adults. There's even new daily movement sessions designed to relax your body and uplift your mind. If you go to calm.com slash catfish, you'll get a special offer of 40% off Calm premium subscription. And new content is added every week. Over 100 million people around the world use Calm to take care of their minds. Calm is ready to help you stress less, sleep more, and live a happier, healthier life. Well, you've been using calm. So I have a lot of nighttime anxiety, yeah, especially when I'm home alone and Matt's right. not here. So I always want to listen to something and I want to relax. Right. So last night uh-huh. I listened to LeVar Burton the of Reading Rainbow. Lore. Ooh. And uh, he took me on a journey to the stars. Really? Yeah. He would like just explained all of outer space to me. It was the coolest thing to listen to. I mean, I listened to a few different things. I listened to some Edgar Allan Poe, this, that. Mm. But I really enjoyed LeVar Burton. It oh, like, wow. and, and guess what? I don't even remember falling asleep. Oh, you did that to go to sleep. I did that to go to sleep. I mm-hmm. love that. Yeah. It really kept me calm. I'm going to try. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to try that tonight for listeners of the show. Calm is offering an exclusive offer of 40% off a calm premium subscription at calm.com slash catfish. Go to calm.com C A L M.com slash catfish for 40% off unlimited access to calm's entire library. That's calm.com slash catfish. Okay. All right. So now her and Olin are still sleeping together, but right. she loves Nick. 
She won't really answer anything about Olin. Basically, there's no straight answer. Yes. She said that she's terrified of rejection. That's why she hasn't met Nick. Okay. So okay. Neve tells her that Nick wanted to see a full body picture and quote, he was a little surprised, but still wants to meet her. I, I could faint thinking about this. Okay. So basically her biggest fear is that he finds out that she's overweight. Right. Um, and then Neve is like, Hey, he thinks you're fat. And but then he was like, but you could send him a bikini pic. Right. Like if you're not fat. Right. <laughs> like, you know what I, I like? I can't believe it. I actually, where do you get the balls to talk to someone? Why like would that? you? And now, and then she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I want to meet him. Oh my God. I would have been like, oh my God, my mom's calling me. I would have been like, well, I'm just a head on a stick. Mm-hmm. That's so weird because I <laughs> yeah. actually got my body removed years ago. Yeah. I had, I got a body out of me. So you can come <laughs> to my, you can come to I my I got window. a body out of, out of, out of, out of me. <laughs> You can come to my window. I'll just be sitting on the uh-huh. ledge. <laughs> I know. I can't really. No, you can't come in either because it's just too dangerous. Yeah, I'm just the body. I, I get very head. rolly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, oh. we meet Nick's dad. Right. Mm. Um, I feel like so, and Neve walks in. He's like, "Buongiorno." Like, but why are we doing this? Because it a lot of Italian pride. There's just so much pride. I like that. He's cleaning wine bottles. Yeah, He's probably making homemade wine. Yeah, I like that. That's very much of my grandfather. <laughs> he's dead. Maybe dead grandpa's making it, <laughs> making the wine. Maybe he's stomping the grapes downstairs. I can't take you. <laughs> well, you know who can't stomp the grapes? Uh, who Melissa with no body? Oh my god, that's so funny. I was gonna say, Neve, is he still hurt? <laughs> oh my god, he can stamp him extra because he's got the boot. Yeah, he got that boot. <laughs> All right, so they call her and she's like, Listen, you guys can't come over because my boyfriend said it isn't cool, but we'll go to my friend's house. And they're like, Yeah, whatever. Yeah, so here's another one. He gets out of the car and he's like, Hey, if I'm really quiet, I'm just like talking to Jesus and Padre Pio at the same mm-hmm. time. Padre Pio. <laughs> Some Spuyadel, Padre yeah. Pio. I'm just thinking about ravioli if I'm not talking out loud. So <laughs> if you could just not say anything, because I'm actually wondering um, when we're going to get some more gabagool if I don't Yum. say anything. <laughs> yeah. And also uh, my uh, my chain is probably just really like dragging my neck down. So I'm just stretching oh, a little bit. Oh, man, this guy. If you see me with my head down, it's because my chain is uh, just too pulling it down. For my neck, too all the ice on it. <laughs> it's all iced out. It's all iced out. Mm -hmm. Let's be honest. Sex is better when everyone's enjoying themselves. That's why Dame Products designed Eva, the first hands-free vibrator for couples. Boost pleasure and connection for all with a little toy that won't get in your way. Use the exclusive code CATFISH today for 15% off site-wide. Having a pleasure practice is good for you. It can even improve the quality of your sleep, help you de-stress, relieve pain, even give you that lit from within glow as you go about your day. But most importantly, exploring your pleasure on your own helps you get in touch with yourself and learn more about what you like. That's right. It leads to better sex. So check out Palm, the flexible, versatile vibrator from Dame Products. With its friendly shape, touchable texture, and super bendy design that offers broad and targeted stimulation, Palm is great for beginners. It's also waterproof and features five intensities and five vibration patterns so you can explore what works for you and the best part dame offers hassle-free returns within 60 days so your satisfaction is literally guaranteed power up your pleasure with palm or any of the other toys from dame products go to dameproducts.com slash catfish today for 15 percent off site-wide that's dame products d-a-m-e products.com slash catfish for 15 percent off site-wide all right so it's so bad she opens the door and Neve tries to cover her whole body with his body. All I see is a maxi dress. I see a maxi flowing skirt. I see, yep. I see a maxi dress um, from Charlotte Ruse. That is exactly what I see. Thank you. Uh, with an old Navy cardigan. I've never worn this outfit before, so I wouldn't know about it. No, oh. you wouldn't know about an old Navy cardigan. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> she opens the door and he goes, oh, shit. Now, I don't know what that means. I think, honestly, it seemed like it was in a good way. Right. Like, oh, my God, it's really her. Yeah. So now Nick hugs her for like all of the time. Yeah. He was ready to hump her. And this is the problem that I'm having. What? 
So he had the nerve. Like, listen, I understand. Like, she kind of like presented herself as thin, and she wasn't mm-hmm. like. So I understand that. Like, that's just. But did she? Just, she just didn't disclose her size at all. I think. Thank you. She yeah. wasn't like I actually weigh one hundred and four pounds. Right. It was just nothing. Right. Mm-hmm. But it's like he was kind of like ugh. Um, right. But like his body is bigger than hers. Way bigger than hers. Uh-huh. So I'm like, okay whatever it's fine interesting Mm -hmm. i just thought it was very interesting yeah me too i don't even think he's fat i'm just saying like he's just as big as she is if not bigger like what is the problem right and also have you spoken to her about have you asked her about it hey can i have a full body picture of you yeah with your whole body right what size clothes do you wear right i want to send you a basket i don't know basket i want to send you a basket of of jeans (laughs) yeah (laughs) <laughs> I want to send you a basket of of uh, Fila suits. <laughs> I want a basket of Fila suits. Well, Nick might send them to you. Okay. All right. So now he hugs her for a while, and then for absolutely no reason, mm-hmm. she tells them that she likes to take pictures in natural lighting. So she goes quote outside, or she opens a window. What? Meaning, I guess, like I don't know. I think she's trying to say like that's why there's no full body picks up it doesn't even make sense she opens a window noelle yeah, you, can't, she opens you window. know that when you go outside your entire body disappears well that's right that's I'm where just the ahead. head on a stick <laughs> comes from right have you ever seen me outside with a whole body no never not can't. once can't do it you have to see me trying to get drive <laughs> i have to bounce her like a basketball you've never seen me take break, a walk gas break <laughs> gas <laughs> Oh, oh God. God. So I'm like, I don't know where this is like not in context. No, it was weird. Mm-hmm. All right. So she's like, they're like, OK, so we have to ask you like something super gross and disgusting. Did you kiss a girl? Yuck. Ew. We don't like bisexuals around here. Yuck. Mm-hmm. And she's like, oh, I it was just my friend. And then we just were doing like a fake kiss. Right. She's like, the kiss wasn't even real. Her my my lips were on her nose. And what if it was real? What are you gonna do? Right. Bye. Leave. Yeah, it was weird. So she said that she moved in with Olin in February, and then he broke up with her two weeks later. But he's still very jealous, and they're friends with benefits. But they live together. Nick wants to see where it goes with her, so they hang out alone. And she brought with her the letter that he sent her when she was in recovery. I'm assuming. I have hung out with this guy before, though, the weird energy of being alone with him. And he's like, you know, like throwing things in the air. And oh, just like yes. Can't focus. Awkward. You know what I mean? Very the awkwardness. Aw- yes. Uh-huh. Yes. Like he's very nervous and it's Fidgety. just. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. OK. So they still have feelings for each other, but she's really torn. So now Max comes uh, into the hotel room and he's like, Nikki, yo. And it's like, Max, we know. Fettuccine, right. linguine, uh-huh. lasagna, linguine, yeah. bucatini. We know. <laughs> <laughs> so they want to see Melissa without Nick, and they want to meet Olin. So they go to a haunted okay. house in the middle. Yes, of nowhere. they do. Yes, they do. With um, I don't know what's on the floors. It looks like they took crates. Yeah, and they made flooring with it. I think they did. Yeah, and then she's very awkward too. There's like a hug shake, a hug yeah. shake. Mm-hmm. A hug shake. She's like laughing in an awkward way. And we find out that she lives with him and his mom. He, I love that. Also, I, what happened with her parents? Dundee is not her parents. Dundee is not. Why did she have two pairs of sweatpants when she moved in? Are they with grandpa? Right. Two pairs of sweatpants and two shirts. That's all she had. But yet uh, I'm looking for a job. I'm still looking for a job. OK, look harder. Yeah, get a job. You get a job clothes. Yeah. Well, now yeah. she has jeans because um, yeah. Nick sent her the basket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. he sent a basket of 20 pairs of jeans. Oh, man. <laughs> There's a lot of cellophane. In- <laughs> so I like also how she's like they live with her, his mom, but yet she was complaining about how dirty the house is and how no one else cleans. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, man, wait until they see the episode. And he supports them both by delivering pizzas. But she supports him emotionally while he delivers pizza. Oh, okay. She supports him by letting him be single. 
she really he likes that so they met on facebook and he messaged her and said hey you want to be my girlfriend right i know it's willy-nilly and Someone she was like yes problems you just ask right but then he he backpedaled because he wants to technically be single um but she has nowhere else to go she has nothing no job but she says quote i'm content with the way things are oh yeah that sounds what a dream as you would say Olin also says, as he wants to be technically single, mm-hmm. broke up with her. Right. Says she's beautiful and he loves her. And he would still choose her over anyone. But he, he said he wouldn't want to be with anyone else, but he wants to be with anyone else. Right. <laughs> right. What? Right. Mm-hmm. So Max is like, oh, you guys have an honest relationship. This is I think beautiful. you guys have the healthiest relationship oh, out of everyone. So healthy. Out of everyone. Who is beautiful. the other people? I don't know. Who are Max, the other people? I don't know. Nick and his tailpipe? Right. Nick and his Italian flag? Who? who? Nick and grandpa? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I, I. It's like, what's happening here? Well, they praise how he loves her so much. This They are gaslighting her. Yes. Mm-hmm. And he said that um, Nick is her thing. This is what Olin said. They're like, right. well, you know, she's going to cheat on you with Nick. And he's like, yeah, well, that's her thing. What? Right. But what does that mean? I don't know. Well, she goes to meet out with meet, meet up with Nick and she dropped out of high school. She doesn't have her GED. But you know what they do have? What? They have cigarettes. Everyone has cigarettes. And they're going to do a little BFF smoke. They're going to do a little smoky smoke. All right. So now it is uh, time to catch up with them. Mm-hmm. And Neve says, quote, what's up, big boy? And he's like, oh, not much. You know, I'm out here living the dream. Just mechanic schooling. And they still talk. In They're Texas. just friends. <laughs> yeah. Very. I, that's I love to fix cars in the heat. Right. I'm like What? With the spiders. Um, Yuck. They still talk all the time. They're just friends. And then uh, we, we find out that Melissa cannot find a job. Still. But she went on an interview. She did go on an interview. And let me tell you, yeah. they don't they don't they're not going to hire her. Um, uh huh. She said they're like, do you think you're going to stay with Olin? And she's like, well, no, I mean, like, as I get older, I know that this is not good. But for now, it's great. She's like, this isn't good for me in the long run. What a dream. It's like, what? Excuse me? What? A dream. Noelle, but, what did you think about this episode? Okay. This, okay. It was boring compared to other episodes. Sure. But it's like, what's happening here exactly? There's so much weird shit under the surface of this mm-hmm. episode. Like, why are you homeless? Let's start with that. Why are you homeless? Why why are you with someone because you have to be? Why did you only have two pairs of pants? Right. You're really stuck on the pants. Do you like Nick? Right. Do you actually like him? Right. And Nick, do you actually like her? Do you guys like each other? Because why don't you just go stay with Nick then? I'm sure dad will let you. Grandpa's room opened up. Oh, well. <laughs> There's a vacancy. There's been a vacancy since 2006. We're going to get struck dead. Struck. Yeah, I'm already anxious. I can't wait to see what tonight brings. Oh, man. Grandpa is going to be all the way mad. He's mad at me. He's putting a maloki on you. Mm-hmm. Now you sound like my grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I just I think that um, I can't believe that even Max would like put the stamp of approval on on every part of this. But that's what I mean. It's it's so uncatfishy this episode. Like, I don't know. It's so out of the ordinary for an even Max to like, this yeah. is what you guys picked. Yes. I guess not. No MTV picked it. Right. But they liked it. Like they were like, yeah, this is great. This is great. Right. Also, she's been living with him for like seven months, I think. Yes. You couldn't find a job. She can't get a job. You're 18 years old. What do you think you're going to do? You work at Key Food. She can't get a job, Tracy. You uh-huh. have to work at Stop and Shop. Yeah, she cannot. Uh, it's can't, not a hard. Though. The thing is, as uh, when you're a kid. Jobs aren't hard to find because you take the worst jobs. I would work work at fast food. Who cares? I mean, yeah, you're in I, a bad environment. You have a basket of denim. You have a basket of denim. You're in a house with crate floors. Right. You're in a dirty house. Mm-hmm. Right. So go work at Sheets. Right. Or go work, you know, at Love's or, or whatever Come and the Go. Hell. 
or come and go. I saw that today on Instagram. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Um, what's his name? Uh, brand new Joe posted mm. a picture with it. Very funny. Yeah. Come and go is a real thing. I never knew that. I've never seen it. Yeah. I have K-U-M. very traveled. Yeah. That's the best. Yeah. You haven't traveled to all the truck stops. Clearly. Joe goes, they know what they were doing when they named this place. Hilarious. Very um, funny. <laughs> check out his podcast. Just Joe. I was a guest on it. Noel. Sorry. My dogs are very angry. I don't What's know. What's happening with them? Um, I don't know. You know, my neighbor downstairs comes outside, smokes a lot of cigarettes and uh, like, in front of the house and they like to watch him and snarl. Yeah. Cool. Cause they don't want him to smoke anymore. <laughs> yeah. They're it. like, guy, bro, we smell it. I have, she has the windows open. Yeah. No, I know. Okay. Give me an update. I don't know what's going on here. Tell okay. me. Okay. Well, I don't really have an update on Nick because, uh, he is not around, but if okay. you guys find him, cause you guys are, detectives. I hope he's not with grandpa. Yeah. Okay. So there, I did find Melissa and I found Olin also. They're not together. Oh no. Um, I found them both on Instagram. Okay. So uh, Melissa's page, um, right. She has a new boyfriend. Okay. Everything seems fine. She's had a few boyfriends since. I can't find any trace of Nick. She doesn't have any pictures of him up. But I can tell you she had a picture of one of her boyfriends up from August 14, 2018. Okay. What did it say? And it made me not like her. Why? Um, Because it says this N-word. Oh. Lucky he's sexy or he never would have gotten my attention. Too bad he's an asshole. What is wrong with you? Is it was it a hard ER or an A? Just ask. Okay. A. I mean, it's not good, but listen, it's not good, but it's like, what are you, what what are you, are you doing? doing? Um, so um, my brain kind of shut off after that, right. but nothing's going on with her. She just honestly, she just seems to be the same trash in the same place. There's right. literally nothing. It's like a picture. Do you think of she got that knife. job? Yeah. Yeah. A bicycle. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Right. I it's like this. nothing exciting. And Olin has a new girlfriend and he seems to be in the same place too. a lot of pictures of cars, him in a biker jacket, a denim jacket. OK, the girl that is in his profile picture on yes. Instagram, it looks is, like Melissa. It's just, I mean, he clearly has a type. It's when so he funny said that he that. doesn't I meant to say that. Yeah. <laughs> when he said he doesn't want to be without her, he's not kidding. He's like, I'm going to be with you whether you're here or not. Same person. Her type has changed. But right. his type, exactly the same. He likes a MySpace scene girl. He loves an emo screamo girl. What season of Catfish do we stop seeing MySpace girls? How many seasons are there all together? Nine? Eight. Eight. Eight? It's definitely, we still have a few more seasons. But I remember, think. season eight has over 60 episodes so far. Yeah, no, I think we have a few more seasons okay. of emo hair because right. I think even like Katy Perry was emo hair in yeah, that episode. There's a yeah. lot of uh, there's a lot of my space. So this was an interesting episode. Um, her update. Should I tell the people her name on Instagram? Sure. I don't know. You OK, could. if you guys want to look, if she doesn't have a private page, um, it's Hala Melissa, H-O-L-L-A. M-E-L-I-S-S-A. Just if you want to see some new updated pictures of her yeah, and you want to see the great caption, the great caption. Um, I went all the way back from 2017. That's what oh, it wow. was, because I went through deep in her pictures just to see if there was anything. There was nothing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. She sounds great. Um, all right. Well, that was fun. If you guys want to talk about this episode or if you want to talk about the show Catfish, the television show, go to Catfish Trash Talk on Facebook. Find our group. You can find it also at TracyCarnazzo.com. You can follow Noel at Noe Girl on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. You can follow me at Trixie Suzini on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Follow the show at Catfish Trash Talk on Instagram and um, give us a five-star rating and amazing review. And I guess we'll just see you in the group. Yeah, we'll see you in the group. We'll see you on Twitter. We'll see you on Instagram. We'll see yeah, you everywhere. Go over there. Uh, TracyCarnazzo.com also has my upcoming show dates for my stand-up comedy. So come out and see me and say hey. Say hi, but not Tracy in a gross Carnazzo. way. Yeah, please not in a gross way. <laughs> TracyCarnazzo.com. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I'm just ahead. <laughs>